Welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I'm your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and we have a short astro parenting tip of the week on Sagittarius kids. Sag is mutable fire, so it's an energy that can waffle between the cardinal and fixed modalities. So you may have periods when your Sagittarian child is uh, kind of, you may think, lazier. I would call them more... Um, you know, not as energetic because they're embodying their fixed nature. And you may have periods when they're always on the go. And in that case, they are embodying their cardinal nature. So something you have to, it's something you have to just be aware about with the sign. It is the sign ruled by Jupiter, which is noted as a benefic planet, which means it brings a lot of luck to the chart holder. It expands the chart holder's worldview As with any energy, there can be a positive negative to that. Sometimes the negative aspect of Jupiter is laziness and the positive aspect of it is abundance and growth. Okay, but what we want to talk about today is kind of something very basic. Sagittarian kids are very emotionally expressive. As we've talked about in my videos on Sagittarian kids, they they wear their emotions on their sleeves. If your Sagittarian child is upset, you will know. They are happy, you will know. They are full of joy, you will know. So the parents have to do a little less work generally on figuring out what the Sag kid is feeling because they're so expressive emotionally, okay? So uh, another interesting thing about Sag kids is they tend to be very tactile. This is not something you think about a lot with fire energy. Um, It's something you think about a lot more with earth and water signs. But Sagittarian kids are very affectionate. They like to be affectionate with the parents and they're very tactile. And often you'll find that one of their main love languages is physical touch. So when they're babies, they like to be held until they start to crawl and walk and they want to be independent. Um, But even as older kids, they're affectionate. They may hug their friends. So one of the things you can do is as long as your Sagittarian kid is okay with it, uh, you want to provide them as much physical affection as possible. Hand-holding, hugs, even kisses on the cheek, things like this. Always respecting phys- physical boundaries. As kids get older, they typically don't want as much physical contact with the parents. That is normal childhood development. They still remain connected to the parents. They still need guidance and come to the parents for guidance, or they should, as long as they feel connected and attached to the parents. But they, they kind of seek out the physical uh, touch less and less. But they may, even older Sag kids may still seek that out. So as long as your Sag kid is okay with the physical contact, I would definitely recommend hugging, kissing on the cheek, hand-holding, even patting on the back. That is a way that Sag kids like to receive and express affection. And then it's not always something we think about when we think about Sagittarian energy, but it is something that I've observed that tends to be a pattern with Sagittarian energy. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. Even though Sag is a freedom-loving, independent sign, they still love to be affectionate and they love to give and receive affection. So that is a great way and an easy way that you can bond and maintain the connection and attachment with your Sagittarian child. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope that's helpful. Does your Sag kid like uh, to be physically affectionate? Do they... Do they still like to be kind of hugged and cuddled? And how old are they, if that's the case? I would love to know the answers to those questions. So you can feel free to write those answers in the comments below. And thank you for your attention. And we will be back very soon.